Mua Caves or Hang Mua is the name for the two famous viewpoints in Nimbin, the Dragon and the Pagoda. Climbing the 88 meters high Mua Caves viewpoint is one of the best things to do in Nimbin, as this is one of the highest accessible points in the area, offering a fantastic 360 degrees panoramic view of Nimbin. Mua Caves viewpoints are open every day, Monday to Sunday from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. Hang Mua, meaning dance or dancing cave, is an actual cave, but it's the viewpoints above the cave that are the main attraction. And no, it's definitely not a hidden gem, as some may call it, but it's absolutely worth visiting. It's important to know that Mua Caves viewpoints are located inside the same name resort complex called Mua Caves Eco Lodge, or Hang Mua Eco Lodge in Nenbin. So once you pass through the entrance, you need to walk through a super decorated resort area to get to the path that leads to the viewpoints. It's something that many travel guides forget to mention. There are many photo spots there if you enjoy this kind of thing. If not, you can just skip that part and walk straight to the viewpoint. To reach the top Moor Caves viewpoints in Ninbin, you must climb around 500 stairs. It's a bit of a challenge as the stairs are uneven. They are made of stone, so they can also get slippery, especially after rain. You have to take care. The path splits halfway and leads to two different viewpoints. The two viewing points of Hang Mua are the Dragon viewpoint and the Pagoda viewpoint. The Pagoda viewpoint area at Hang Mua is pretty small and there's not much to do here besides taking photos of the pagoda, which is not a pagoda, but a five-tiered tower. However, you get a nice view of the dragon's viewpoint. The climb to the top of Muir Cave's viewpoints should take you around 20 minutes, depending on your fitness level. I breathed like a whale when I finally came to the first top where the pagoda was. After a short break, I climbed the other stairway up to the dragon and past the lady cleaning the stairs for rubbish early that morning. When you turn left where the path splits, you'll reach the Dragon Viewpoint, the highest viewpoint in Ninbin, offering a mesmerizing view. When I was there in the early morning, the misty clouds were hanging low, but it was not raining. Later that day, the sun came through, so I definitely should have chosen to come later that day. I was lucky to get a free bottle of water from a local lady who had brought a six pack of water to the top and made clean the area around the Guan Yin statue on the platform in front of the dragon. When I wanted to pay, she told me it was a gift from Buddha. The dragon viewpoint is the most popular spot in Muir Caves and you can enjoy both a sunrise and sunset there. If you are brave enough, you can climb all around the dragon statue. The dragon statue is actually built on top of sharp rocks. 
and there is no safety railing around. I have to be extremely careful when climbing the razor sharp rocks. If you don't want to climb the dragon, there's a small area below it from where you can safely enjoy the view. From here you can look directly down on the Tancock boat rides. You also have a magnificent view down at the Lotus Pond and easily see how they made gangways out on the pond in the shape of a lotus flower. The Lotus Pond at Hangua is especially amazing from April to late July when it's lotus blooming season. But keep in mind that this spot will also be crowded, even at sunrise, and that lotus flowers are closed early morning and in the harsh sun. There are two caves under the Moor Caves viewpoints, but I didn't visit any of them because we also wanted to get to Chang'an later that day. Moor Caves viewpoints are a great spot for sunrise and sunset. I have been highly recommended to visit Moor Caves viewpoints for sunrise, as at that time of the day the light would be the nicest and it won't be too hot. And visiting Moor Caves viewpoints for sunrise also means fewer crowds. Sunrise can be seen behind the pagoda viewpoints and sunset behind the dragon. Unfortunately, the sun first broke through the clouds later that day. While the lotus pond is technically not a part of the viewpoints, it's part of the complex and it's especially beautiful with blooming lotus flowers. The entrance fee at Moor Caves and Viewpoints is 100,000 Vietnamese dong, or around 4 euro, which you can buy at the ticket office right next to the parking lot at the entrance to Hang Moor Eco Lodge. Moor Caves is an all year round destination, and the best time to visit is during the lotus blooming season at the beginning of April. Its Wan is especially beautiful because of the many lotus ponds full of flowers all around Ninbin and in the one big pond next to the Hangwal Eco Lodge. That's why it's such a trendy spot for Vietnamese as well, as it's the perfect photo setting. The best time to visit Mua Caves viewpoints to see the green rice fields is in March, April and August, and to see yellow rice fields in May or October just before the harvest. Mm -hmm.